intro it? No, you do it better. Can you? I just you, cook. I just cook. I got no, no, the. I, I think, got the skin. No, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on! Look at that. It smells so good. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Ooh. Hi, Mob. I'm back again. Today we are going to do our second episode of our fantastic beef chow mein, new chow mein. <laughs> First, we have all these vegetables. Okay. Spring onions, carrots, onions, and garlic. And I thought I'm going to put a little bit extra of the mange too okay. to make it more authentic. A portion of beef chow mein from the Chinese takeaway can be fed for two people. I could eat a whole container to myself. Oh, I know. Don't tell me that. <laughs> One small onion. It is good enough for uh, the beef chow mein for four people. How many yeah. crows? About three to four. Okay, fat clothes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> it's very important you always leave the spring onions last. What I do is I stir fry and then I add some on top after. Mm, that's wrong. <laughs> you need to speak more. What? <laughs> Mom! Explain to, the, to our people, our followers, our fans. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. After all these vegetables, we are going to prepare the meat. Proper butcher's way. We have beautiful beef here. So I'm going to cut into three slices. So you just cut across the line, okay? Oh. To shorten the fibre of the meat. But why do you want to shorten the fibre of the meat? So they won't taste chewy. Pour the yeah. hot water into the noodles. You just pour the hot water in to cover. Okay. Until the noodles just sink down, then you know the, the, the water is enough. Beautiful beef. So white pepper, how much are we going for? Half teaspoon. Half okay. teaspoon. But we need a lot of white pepper in the stir-fried right. noodles. White pepper is great in cooking, and black pepper is great in just garnishing on top. So one tablespoon of light soy sauce. Yeah, Ooh. okay. In. Just about a tablespoon of sesame oil. What about shashing wine? Uh, a tablespoon. Tablespoon. A little bit of cornstarch. Look at that. Can you see? So we let it sit in the bowl for about whenever you're ready to stir fry your noodles. Yeah, beef chow mein. All the way from Sheffield. Now I'm going to Four prepare minutes. some Four sauce. Minutes. Half teaspoon of white pepper. <laughs> One big tablespoon of the light soy sauce. Two tablespoons of the dark soy sauce. Oyster sauce. Okay, and one tablespoon of the sesame oil. That's everything for now. Test it before I cook the whole plate of noodles for you guys to eat. Look, I can do it all in one go. Oh, very good. That? Okay, we have bean sprouts, noodles, beef, beef, and also the sauce. A little tip is to prepare the sauce earlier. Because I, what I do is I don't, I never do this because I'm lazy. And I you just are lazy. Like, oh, oh, right, all right. So now we're going to add lots of oil in. About three to four tablespoons of oil to make sure it is like coating everywhere. But we can, we're not going to use so much oil in cooking. We're going to tip it away. The problem for me is I'm not tall enough here. So I have to, that's okay. You know, oh, because the, I can help the, you. <laughs> oh, we have the stand. Do you, Oh, no, no, that's a bit too high. <laughs> Some people, they prepare the noodles by pre-cook the meat, but yeah. we're going to do everything in one pan. Okay. Okay. Is that the temperature? Not the temperature. Uh, the temperature just the a heat. slow heat, slow. and then you turn to the higher heat later. Oh. Slowly medium and to higher and higher. Now, I add all the beef in. Now, Ooh. turn the heat, turn that to high heat now. I will add my garlic first. Now, add the carrots because carrots take a little bit longer to cook. Now I'm going to add uh, this manch to in. Yum. Now. Yum, 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 yum. It's good. I'm going to add the noodles in now. Can you see? Or yeah. in. Now, after the noodles, very quickly, just add uh, the bean sprout in. Okay? Yeah. Now, cook these noodles and bean sprout for a good two minutes. Then we can add the sauce in. Uh, for not adding the sauce in too early because the sauce will make the noodles to stick on the pan. Oh. Yeah. Now add the sauce in slowly. Okay. Go from the edges. Okay, yeah. The edge. The edge. Yeah. Like that. That's it. And then slowly to the middle. Oh, so it's just all now. evenly coated. Now you can see, don't waste this. Okay. We can add a little bit of water. Ooh. Yeah. When you cook the noodles, we say it's very important we have the heat from the wok. We call wok hay. Guo qi. So this is guo qi. Can you see the steam? 
Yeah. So Guoti is the steam, and Wok Hei is it's the same. The same. Wok Hei is Cantonese. Ah. Guoti is Mandarin. But Guoti in Mandarin also um is is expired, no? That is Guoti. There you go, my Mandarin is shockingly bad. Guoti is the heat. Guoti is expired. Ah. This is why I say Shenny is so sweet. Like sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> <laughs> sweet sour chicken. If you miss it, check out the third Do I know episode. you? <laughs> Bring onion in. It's the last bit, and they don't need to be cooked. If I can do it, you can do it too. What's our Mandarin? Let's say together. Wonen, ni yenen, ni yenen, ni wonen, wonen, ni yenen, wonen, ni yenen. Go from the bottom. Okay. Yeah. It's just like you're digging the gold. Look at that. Smells so good. Mmm. Okay. Oh, yummy, yummy. Ooh. This is our uh, Mop Kitchen's beef chow mein with some lovely fresh chili oil. That's from Jolene. I really hope you guys enjoy watching our video. Thank you for supporting. <laughs> <laughs> If you like it, leave a comment, like and subscribe. Of course. <laughs> Bye. Bye bye. Hi, oh, look at my chili oil. Jolene's fresh chili oil. Can you taste the white pepper? Strong. <laughs>